Samsung, the company behind some of the best displays you've seen, like the ones used in the Nintendo Switch, might be gearing up to make its own handheld gaming console. What's exciting is the idea that this console could have a folding screen, which will use the same kind of foldable display technology Samsung has mastered with their phones. A patent discovered by 91 Mobiles gives us a peek at what this device could look like. And honestly, it's easy to see why people are getting excited. We're excited to see what this patent shows us and why it's got everyone talking. Let's go! As we've mentioned, 91 Mobiles recently found a Samsung gaming console patent filed on the World Intellectual Property Organization website. So let's break it down and take a closer look at what this design could be all about. This device features a sleek, flip-style folding design that reminds of the Galaxy Z Flip 6. Its folding mechanism ensures that it's compact enough to fit comfortably into most pant pockets, which is particularly useful for gamers who no longer need to carry around separate cases or pouches. If you observe the schematics, you'll notice the phone shown from multiple angles, folded, fully unfolded, and in close-ups of its sides, top, and back. One standout observation is that even when folded, the design maintains a thin, lightweight profile, so it doesn't feel bulky in your hand or pocket. Its clamshell design strongly suggests the use of the flex hinge technology, a feature that has been a cornerstone of the company's foldable device range that promises smooth operation and durability. Now the display could utilize Samsung's ultra-thin glass, a key material in their folding phones designed for flawless foldability. On top, there might be a protective film, a familiar addition to enhance durability. However, the real test lies in how Samsung manages common foldable screen concerns, such as the visibility of the crease, achieving smooth refresh and response rates, and ensuring vibrant color reproduction. Moving to the gaming functionality, the design hints at built-in controls optimized for gamers. You might notice circular joysticks or D-pads on both sides, complemented by extra buttons situated at the bottom. Although there's no guarantee this design will become a reality, it reflects Samsung's interest in the handheld gaming space. Their experience with foldable technology could give them a distinct advantage in crafting a compelling product. So this was all about from the design side. Now let's talk about something about the software. Jukan Los Reva, a trusted source in the tech world, has hinted about the foldable handheld. After teasing about a new device, they dropped two interesting clues. One was about Valve working on an ARM64 version of SteamOS, something the tech community's been keeping tabs on. The other was brand new. Samsung's building a Vulkan driver for its Xclipse GPU, which is part of its Exynos chip lineup. Put these together, and it's pretty clear what's happening. Samsung is gearing up to unlock the full power of its GPU for devices like phones, tablets, and maybe even gaming handhelds. Vulkan's API is perfect for squeezing extra performance out of smaller, battery-powered devices, which makes it a major advance for mobile graphics. With this, Samsung's Exynos chips are catching up to Qualcomm's inch by inch, and that's definitely worth paying attention to. According to Android Police, it's possible that Samsung is crafting a Vulkan on Exynos driver to serve the needs of its chip customers. The idea here makes sense, offering Exynos users the API functionality they've been asking for. But there's a catch. Right now, high-end Exynos chips are scarce because Samsung's advanced 3 nanometer manufacturing process is supplying fewer chips than expected. To combat this, the company is working on stabilizing the production process to increase output. This delay has put the brakes on Foundry's plans to move on to the next tier of chip making that signals a deliberate pause for refinement. Together, these moves paint a picture of Samsung, positioning itself not only as a hardware vendor, but also as an innovator in gaming-friendly devices. Now you might be asking yourself why to launch a foldable handheld where you have the capability of making a great one without being foldable. The answer is yes, but no. The handheld market is already flooded with great ones. From budget-friendly Nintendo Switch, Steam Deck, to premium-priced One X Fly F1 Pro, there are just a lot. So if you are willing to make an entry to this competitive market, even if you're a tech giant like Samsung, you need a very strong USP. We've already seen how Samsung took foldable technology to the next level with their Galaxy Z Flip 6 and Galaxy Z Fold 5. 
Samsung Galaxy tablets and phones don't all necessarily boast absolute industry-leading performance, but owners love them for the well-rounded engineering and gestalt approach to the user experience. How do you see Samsung's approach towards gaming handhelds? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe to get more videos like this.